With us now is Aviv Bushinsky, former chief of staff and media advisor for Netanyahu. Thanks so much for being with us. In your mind, how desperate at this point is Netanyahu? Or do you believe he still may have one last trick up his sleeve to pull out? He is desperate. Uh, he has uh, 12 days to try and execute the mandate that he received from the president. And uh, bearing in mind the fact that if he doesn't make it, then his chances to remain prime minister are uh, almost uh, minimum, unless uh, we're going to have a fifth elections. Yes, I do believe that Netanyahu can try and pull some uh, tricks, uh, though the recent ones that he uh, pulled uh, apparently uh, failed. Uh, he can only try still to convince the uh, Zionist uh, religious party to um, uh, agree to sit with the Arab Mansour Abbas. Um, and other than that, I doesn't have so many chances. Uh, I've heard him yesterday in his speech. He sounds very desperate. He sounds as if he's uh, almost uh, believes, uh, doesn't believe that he'll be able to make it. But knowing Netanyahu, and I used to work with him uh, ages ago, He's not a guy that uh, abandons uh, the ship and he'll try to the last minute. He, though, will remain prime minister uh, at least until November, unless there's another uh, government formed. Even if he fails, how likely is it that someone else can succeed? There will actually be on paper a different coalition. It's a good question, Jeff, because uh, if Netanyahu will not, will, will not be able to mend all his uh, potential partners together and reach a majority of 61, then he'll have to move to the second phase. And we we heard some hints of this uh, yesterday, saying they tried to put some obstacles on the other side, on the alternative coalition with Bennett and Lapid, uh, blaming them for being the left, for abandoning their ideology, for uh, doing things only for uh, personal reasons. Uh, so I think that uh, if and when Netanyahu will fail forming his uh, coalition in the uh, 12 days duration, uh, he'll start putting those obstacles and bumpers and uh, try to do everything possible to uh, show that the other side is not a cohesive, not a homoge uh, homogenic enough. And once they'll fail, we'll end up with two alternatives, either fifth elections or what he said yesterday, to go to a direct elections, meaning not to dissolve the Knesset, but only vote for the next uh, prime minister, which I find uh, quite uh, unrealistic. How do you think Netanyahu, or perhaps more likely just the Likud party, the lawmakers, will try to expose just how discombobulated and you know, kind of uh, illogical the co opposite coalition is. I mean, if you have labor and merits uh, having to be alongside pro-annexation, uh, pro-settlement parties like Bennett and Saar, will they start proposing bills to expose the rift? Will they make speeches? How do you prove that the other coalition wouldn't work? Uh, most analysis say that it will not last long because of lack of uh, a, uh, a coherent uh, ideology. But uh, what uh, f forms everybody together, crystallizes everybody together, is one thing, to put the Netanyahu, to topple Netanyahu, to put him aside, and they call it the healing government. It's not nothing to do with ideology, nothing to do with settlements, nothing to do with uh, Biden's administration just to put uh, Netanyahu aside, eliminate him, so to speak, politically eliminating him, and then maybe within uh, several months or a couple of years, go to another elections. Because they say that after four elections, uh, the fact that Netanyahu failed to form a stable government, it means that he has to go. Uh, it doesn't necessarily uh, coincide with the, uh, uh, the numbers of voters that do believe that Netanyahu is the most suitable leader to lead Israel, but th this is what they claim. So I don't think that it's anything, it has nothing to do with the ideology, but I do agree with uh, your assumption, if I may say, is that the fact that it took them so long to crystallize the alternative part, uh, group, the, the left and right, the Bennett and Meretz and Labour Party, all together, the fact that it took them so long to uh, uh, to uh, work as one united group, it shows that it'd be very, very hard, first of all, to reach the point in which they reach a majority, and second of all, if they do, 
really to run a stable government. So these are the, I think that uh, what we should focus on in the next uh, couple of weeks. And, uh, but the, the timeline will start by May 4th when Netanyahu, uh, Netanyahu's uh, mandate it, it comes to an end. Mm. And then perhaps uh, Yair Lapid or maybe Bennett will have the uh, next 28 days to try and form the government. So it's a long process. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll uh, find uh, life in Mars till then.